does it feel to be working on your first movie? It feels really exciting, but um, a bit scary as well. Just the thought of it being on the big screen is a bit scary. But it's going really well so far, so... Very hectic schedule, but it's going well, and I'm excited about it. So, I mean, how different is it from the TV series? I mean, is it more difficult? I mean, what are the differences between the two? Um, it's not really that different. It's a lot more serious. You know, we can't muck about as much, and because you know it's film, and it's. But apart from that, it is kind of exactly the same. Apart from us knowing that it's a movie and thinking, "Wow, this really is," you know, we've got to really get down to work now. The film is about us being clones and we realise we get cloned halfway through the movie and we have to get to LA to um, find our manager who's cloned us and um, get him, basically. My favourite part, my favourite scene of the film was um, we filmed in a car park and we had to get kidnapped by these like men, these men in suits and that was quite interesting, it was a bit dramatic, so that was good. Um, at least played part of making the film. John said it was actually carrying you. So what do you think carrying about? me? Yeah. When did he carry me? Oh, on P back. Yeah. What do you think about that? Um, hmm. <laughs> My fa oh, I don't know. Have you got anything well, to say to John about, about that? I'll tell him later. I won't tell him on camera. There's been lots of really good parts. I mean, I think actually coming up here has been my favourite part. Coming to the castle. Um, it's this really exciting filming here. It's a really good location. So. Yeah, probably being here. And what, what do you think about the salt mine? The salt mine was amazing to look at, but I'm I'm not great with enclosed spaces, so it was a bit it was a bit hard for me. I did have a bit of a dodgy moment at first, the beginning of the day when I had to go in it. Um, but I got in there in the end, and it was fine. It's going to look amazing in in the shot because of all the colours and everything. But I'm not good with things like that. Usually, usually we have about two days to learn choreography. I'm not the quickest at it, but we all have, you know, we're all kind of about, always take about the same time to learn a routine. So probably about two days or so, Hang a on. day or two, whatever. So what do you think of the Don't Stop Moving performance? Um, that was quite mad, actually. It felt like we were in a musical. Um, so that was cool. I felt like I was in fame or something like that. So it was good. I'm looking forward to seeing that part. OK, what do you think of your, your double? Um, I can't really speak to her that much because she doesn't speak English and I don't know any Spanish, so... Um, but she's really sweet, she's 15, she's really cute and she looks like me from the back, but not really from the front. <laughs> and uh, do you think do you think your doubles are quite good, uh, quite lifelike? Do you think they look like uh, all the other doubles? Do you think they, I mean, do you think your double looks like you? Do you think Tina's double looks like her, etc, etc? T I, think, I think Tina's is the, probably the best one, and Bradley's. Um, and when they're all staying in a group, it is quite st strange when you sort of get a quick glimpse. You see them all together, it does look like us, but um, not from up close, they don't, but from a distance. So what does Nigel like to work with? Um, Nigel's, Nigel's really cool. He's, um, he gives us lots of direction and he, kno he knows what he's doing and he's, he's brilliant. I mean, he, he really takes time to help you with scenes and stuff, which is really cool. And he's just a bit of a nutter, really, and he's cute. He's, he's really nice, really nice. Big ham actor. I'd definitely like to carry on, yeah, if I can, doing, doing movies and stuff. But the music, I love the music so much that, you know, I want to carry on doing that too. I want to do everything. One of my favourite parts of the movie was probably when we filmed Don't Stop Moving. Um, we did that in, in the big prison cell and the set looked absolutely brilliant. And um, just watching some of the dailies back, it just looked like a massive musical. It looked like something out of fame. So um, that should be interesting to watch back. I'm looking forward to that.